this is Heart of the Moon, welcome. This is going to be a second acknowledgement of our Lord, and it's going to be acknowledging Lord, the Firebringer, the Holy Spirit. And Heart of the Moon believes that the Lord's season is Aquarius and Leo. And his mythology matches with Prometheus. For example, Prometheus upgrades humanity twice. In the first upgrade, Prometheus shares meat with humanity. And then in the second upgrade, he shares, well, he steals fire from the gods and he shares it and gives it to humanity. So that's another upgrade. Aquarius and teamed up with Leo is similar. Aquarius, the water bearer, divides water, chooses air, and levels up a situation which results in a dragonfly. All right, so when Aquarius gets teamed up with the lion, the lion brings in the fire. So the fire is the second upgrade. The fire is the Holy Spirit. Okay? So in Prometheus's mythology, the meat symbolizes spiritual food. The spiritual food upgrades our consciousness. And that allows for another upgrade, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit in the myth of Prometheus sends humanity on a path to self-sufficiency. And today, it's the same way. In Aquarius, we can level up our consciousness with air and with Leo we can go on a path of self-sufficiency with fire the Holy Spirit so those Aquarian teamed up with Leo matches up with Prometheus's myth but here's a here's another really big reason why that heart of the moon is going on a consultation phase. And spirit picks some beautiful cards in the last reading I did about Gaia, acknowledging Gaia and the sacred fire. And it involves the mythology of Ganymede. If you reread the Ganymede mythology, basically, I'm not going to go through it all, but Ganymede, there's a, a really important point that I believe Spirit wanted to uh, get across to me. And uh, needs to get across to the collective big time. It's the mythology of Ganymede. Ganymede, he goes up into heaven with very little choice of his own. He, uh, with little control or little choice of his own, he gets taken away from his father and he gets ascended up into heaven 
Okay, so that symbolizes the spiritual process of ascension. And there are some things on this earth that we're in control of, but there's some processes that we don't have any control over. Just like Ganymede, he had no control over on being ascended up into heaven. It just happened. In real life on earth, um, there are some processes that we don't have control over. Okay, and, and in the cards, the Spirit has picked some beautiful cards in that last reading about Gaia. And we wanted to, I wanted to bring these cards in just to tell you an important detail. So the horse symbolized freedom and the stingray, we, so we needed to level up a situation and we need to level up this horse. And the horse symbolized wildness and freedom. And here was a, a choice to level up this horse, okay, the stingray. So the stingray provided the stability and foundation to tame this wild horse. We don't get rid of this wildness, we combine it with stability and groundedness, similar to the temperance card. So this is about self-mastery and this is the vessel. You know, here's, this really represents us or the vessel. And we have a, here's where we have a lot of control over. We have a lot of control over, since we're the vessel, we have a lot of control over the self-mastery process to get us grounded so we can explore and dive into our own uniqueness. That's something that we have control over, okay? But to level up the situation, uh, Spirit picked another card to level up this wildness. And it was the lizard card. And if you look at the lizard card, the colors in the background match the lizard. So this card symbolizes there's forces going on behind the scenes that are beyond our control to support life. So this was another card. This was another card to match up, to uh, level our horse up. Okay. So. So. It follows the exact analogy I did. Well, I, it's not an analogy, but it matches the. Aquarian energy and the mythology of Prometheus. It follows the same stages of development. Okay, okay, so in this stage of development, we're given the spiritual food to upgrade our consciousness. Okay, so since because we're the vessel, so we get meat or our consciousness gets upgraded so we can take on this type of energy our spirituality or spiritual food grounds us and balances us so we can harness and that self-expression, that wildness of the horse energy, so we can dive into our own uniqueness. So that's 
one level up. That's leveling, leveling up our consciousness. All right. So the second level up is actually, uh, this is beautiful, is actually fire. The, the lizard is fire. So our second upgrade, that allows, yeah, which this upgrade right here, our consciousness, because we're the vessel, that allows another upgrade, fire, to put us on a path of self-sufficiency. But in this upgrade, in this upgrade of fire or the Holy Spirit, a spiritual transformation, the spiritual forces control that process of ascension. So in this world of, so this world is free will. So in order to go into this process, we have to, I'm sure some of you have heard that concept of allowance. Yeah, we have to, we have to use that concept of allowance to allow the spiritual forces that are working behind the scenes of the lizard here, we have to allow these forces to control the process of ascension. And here's uh, here, and there's their second upgrade right there. So it follows, it follows the same mythology as Ganymede. Ganymede had no say in ascending up to heaven. And that's symbolic. It's, uh, you know, it's what I just said. In the process of ascension, our consciousness get up, gets upgraded and that allows and invites in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit upgrades us. But the spiritual process is controlled by the spiritual forces. We don't have any control over it. So in this free will universe that we have, we have to use this idea or concept of allowance we have to allow the spiritual universe to control the ascension process okay and the process we uh the process gets energetically balanced. All right, so so spirit picked. So in that reading that I did um, about Gaia, spirit picked this card to energetically balance the situation out, and it's really similar to if you look at the if you look at the energy of this card and the lizard it's very similar it looks very similar to to each other and it's really basically the same message and I'll read the quote again uh, the quote says sometimes I go about pitying myself and all the time I am being carried on great winds across the sky. So there you go. It's basically, this lizard card is basically saying the same thing. All right, so I'll read the quote again. Sometimes I go about 
pitying myself, and all the time I am being carried on great winds across the sky. And that's why, that's why these two cards are very similar. It's really saying the same thing. There are, are upgrades, like upgrading our own temple or our own house. We're the instrument. This process, we have mostly the control over. And it's a process of self-mastery. It's this process of leveling up our consciousness. Okay? It's, uh, yeah, it's the... This is beautiful right here. It's leveling, leveling up our consciousness here. And in this one right here, when the stingray has all their chakras in balance, including the crown chakra right here. So this, uh, this can represent the crown chakra. And that's leveling, leveling up our consciousness. Okay? In this process. But in this process, so that's another up, one upgrade. Okay, similar to the upgrade Prometheus did with humanity in his mythology, he upgrades his creation with meat. In real life, we're upgraded with spiritual food, consciousness. That's one upgrade. Okay. The next upgrade levels us up by the Holy Spirit. And that next upgrade is controlled by the spiritual universe, which is symbolized in the Ganymede mythology when he is taken up and ascends up into heaven with little or no say. All right. Very right, beautiful. So, let's get into a reading. Let's see if we, again, we can tap into uh, the Lord's energy. Again, these cards have been uh, shuffled. And they're going to get shuffled again. We're going to get, we're going to get, pull two cards for, uh, for a fortune. All right, so that's one, that's a really big reason why Heart of the Moon is going to go on a consultation to the general public with that detail of that second upgrade is we have to in this free will universe we have to give up control over the ascension process to the spiritual universe all right Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay. Take, take that one. I'll take this one. Okay, thank you. Before we go into the divider spread, let's see what fortune the hand of fate picked. All right, door. We have uh, door number one is tiger. Doing something risky, taking a chance. 
Beautiful. <laughs> Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Beautiful, yeah. And you know, uh, check out the fourth acknowledgement of Gaia. And we definitely got three ways of take, taking chances. The hand of fate picked three victory fortunes. So we definitely can press our luck three times. We can definitely take a chance three times. <laughs> Dude, beautiful. And Tiger, that's uh, fire energy. Nice. Okay, what's door number two? The wishbone. <laughs> A wish is granted. Check that out. The wishbone energy. A wish is granted. Beautiful. Okay. You know, take this message if and only if it resonates. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's another great, beautiful way of starting a reading. Thank you. All right, let's get into the divider spread and uh, acknowledge Lord the Firebringer. Thanks, Lord. First of all, we need a... We got Autumn Fire here, leveling up our situation. Okay. Yeah. That one came out really quick. Okay, can we have two cards, please? That was four cards. Okay. Okay, now I know. Now I know what to do. Okay, so we need a sign. Okay, now I'm ready. Now we got our consciousness and connected to our hands. <laughs> Okay, so that's the sign. Okay, the first, the top two cards. Okay, that was a sign, and then that was a sign to take the top two cards. Okay, here's our situation. So Spirit picked the two of spades, two of air, spades are air. Here's our situation to have our situation level up. Beautiful. And this represents fire. Fire, like water, is a duality. Fire can be a benefit or a destroyer. So fire can be, again, can be divided like water. So here's our two cards to level up our situation. We have, spirit picked, the seven of diamonds and the ten of clubs. So clubs are fire, diamonds are earth. Beautiful. How do we level up the situation? This is uh, intuition. This is two of air. So it's tapping into our ideas. To our own uh, tapping into our own olive oil tapping into our ideas or into our our conscience and uh, going with our gut instinct beautiful okay and this uh, this uh, seven of diamonds is uh, is truth and earth so this is uh, embracing our truth and bringing something into the real world bringing some truth into the real world okay beautiful okay so we uh beautiful and we have a seven and two which is a nine it's a completion 
This is a seven and a two. This is bringing, yeah, it's following our, our own truth. It's following our own ideas, going by our gut instinct. And bringing our own truth into the real world. Being our authentic selves. Our authentic selves, our own truth is matched up with our intuition. So this is working as a team. Beautiful. So Spirit picked the to uh, level up the situation. Spirit picked the Ten of Clubs. This is... Yeah, this is a... Uh, definitely levels up the situation. This actually, this is... Uh, this is fire and air. Fire and air go great together. So here's a situation that can level up. Now, the Ten of Clubs, this is something new. Okay, so this is, uh, this gets reduced down to a one or a zero. So the one, it's not big bang energy, but it's, uh, it's an energy of purity. It's small. It's like, a, you know, and I keep repeating this, the ace is a big bang energy, and the ten is a supernova. It's a beautiful energy. It's like a small, it's opening up like a small business. Yeah. Something that's really personal to us. So it's uh, some kind of new, it's a new beginning. based on on our own passions and if it's teamed up with our intuition it's something yeah it's taking action on something and following following through with it with our own passion and teamed up with again with our intuition so take again it's your choice whatever your situation is Take it and run with it. Either this situation right here. Combining our truth and our authentic selves with intuition and showing it to the real world. That definitely involves some spiritual strength for sure. And it, it could involve a completion of something. It's a two and a seven. When we combine the two and the seven together, it's a completion. It's, a, it's working in harmony. Okay. Or we have this situation. We have uh, going by our passions. We're perhaps bringing in a small business. And combined with our intuition, we can 
We have our passion and our intuition combined, bringing in something new into the world. We're talking about something new. This is uh, this is there. So, this is uh, no ideas. Working on something really passionately for sure. Something new. Combined with our intuition. Okay, that's this is that. So this is uh, this is really interesting. This uh, this one gives me a feeling. Oh, this one gives me a feeling of you know, it's like the energy of the combining the energy of the. Actually, it's this. It's, it's like combining the energy of the stingray with the horse. It's uh, leveling up ourselves. It's like uh, this process of self-mastery with this situation. And it's, it's, this is the same situation right here. Combining our authentic selves with our intuition is a process of self-mastery. So, you know, and this and this one is uh, <clears throat> bringing something into the real world, such as if we have uh, fire and uh, air working together. It's it's working on something that's original and bringing it into the and working on it working on details and stuff like that to bring it into the real world all right so let's yeah All right, let's balance this situation up energetically. Okay, that was pretty quick. That card flipped with very little effort. There it is. Spirit picked the world card. See something exactly and uh, that's the feeling uh, I got in some previous readings that people yeah we're earth people are completing these huge cycles there's the energy and, and then spirit picks picked the energy of the world to balance the, this situation out right here energetically and uh this looks like a yeah the da vinci yeah that's a really f that's his famous uh painting the proportions of the human figure by da vinci and the quote says all that adam had all that Caesar could, you have and can do. Build, therefore, your own world. <laughs> there you go, yeah. And exactly, it's exactly the... What the topic is of the first discussion. You know, yeah, it's the, uh, you know, the Lord shares the sacred fire with humanity. Humanity is able to, and uh, food, spiritual food, so their consciousness gets leveled up, which allows another 
upgrade. And they're on, with those two upgrades, they're sent on a path to self-sufficiency. Beautiful. Need I say any more? And the quote says, again, all that Adam had, all that Caesar could, you have and can do. Build, therefore, your own world. And let's leave it at that. Thank you, Spirit. Well, this has been the second acknowledgement of our Lord. Lord, the firebringer. Thank you, Lord. Take care and God bless.